Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Yan, and today I am so excited because I am going on vacation soon. So, of course, I had to share with you guys all the books that I plan on bringing with me as well as what's on my Kindle because a lot of these books are on my Kindle and it's more convenient to travel with this little thing. So I want to share all the books and it might be a little bit excessive and unnecessary but I am pretty optimistic about the amount of books that I can read on vacation. So hopefully I can read at least like five books not just bring all of these books and read like two. Without further ado if you guys want to see more then please keep on watching. Also, from now on, you guys will probably see this book behind me because I am obsessed. So I am going to start with what's on my Kindle. I actually got this as a gift for Christmas last year. I got the Paper White, um, the new edition. I don't really remember, but I actually just bought a pink cover case and I bought a bunch of Hello Kitty stickers and stuck them on here so this is what my kindle looks like and i love the stickers on here it was very hard to try to plan and place them but i had a lot of fun this one i have on the back because i thought that this was cute she's like reading and there's some books here i do want to put some more stickers on the back but it's just hard to like kind of wipe down and stuff so I haven't yet and some of the stickers are fading already. I am going to share all of the books that I have on my Kindle. I have Kindle Unlimited so I think it's perfect and so worth it because it's so much easier to read on here when I'm traveling and I love using my Kindle when I'm reading at night. For the longest time I didn't want a Kindle because I didn't think that they were worth it. You know you can obviously read on your iPad or your phone or your computer or something but I just love having a Kindle because it doesn't distract me whereas on the iPad I might go to Instagram or something like that this one I strictly use just for reading and so it's perfect just to like kind of decompress so I recently downloaded what was meant to be by Kiwi Tyler and I have no idea what this book is about but I think it is a sports romance I'm not too sure but I did see someone on youtube talk about the book and so i was like okay i have to put this down on my tbr list and i was very happy that this is actually on kindle unlimited just so that i don't have to go buy it but i might buy this if i do enjoy the book um a little bit about this book it says three years ago jacob price walked away after a whirlwind steamy affair my father's best friend broke my heart he told me things were too complicated messy wrong that we could never be together i knew he loved me but the fear of ruining our family was too great with too much at stake he sacrificed our hearts and ended it now he's back and he still wants me he still loves me but now i'm engaged to another man so i guess this is not a sports romance but this is really interesting i am very intrigued because this is a father's best friend trope and I haven't read anything like this yet so I don't know how I'm going to obviously feel about it but it sounds very intriguing so I had to download that one. I think that one is going to be pretty spicy. And then I have Behind the Net by Stephanie Archer because I've been seeing this on Instagram. This one is a sports romance. This one has a lot of different tropes. I'm very excited to try and read that one and see what I think about it. Next, I have Magnolia Parks because I've been wanting to read this book. I was so happy that it was actually on Kindle Unlimited. But for some reason now, I think her books are picked up by a publisher that these books are not available on Kindle Unlimited but since I've downloaded these books I guess prior to them taking it off um, I can still read the book so I really want to read this soon I have Daisy Hates on here as well and that's like the second book but it doesn't show up in my library it only shows up on my home screen page so it's very weird and then I actually saw The Summer of Broken Rules I actually didn't really care to read this book because I don't need another summer book on my TBR but I've been hearing some things about this book and it sounds pretty interesting. I think this girl she's going through a heartbreak and she's going to her sister's wedding or something like that and I'm assuming that she's going to meet someone at the wedding 
and fall in love or something i'm not too sure but i might read this one in the summer then i have a not so meet cute by megan quinn because so many people talk about megan quinn's books but i didn't know where to start and i think this is one of the popular books so i decided to add this to my kindle unlimited and then i actually have a fantasy book and i am just starting to get into fantasy so i I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself but I've heard a lot of great things about this book and it is The Serpent and the Wings of Night. I just know that it's about like a vampire king and this girl is like human. I don't know but I just heard that this book is very good and this book is pretty hyped so I do want to give this one a try. And then I have In the Likely Event by Rebecca Yaros. I think this one is very interesting. The only thing is that I wanted to read this one on the plane, but I don't think it's a good idea because it's basically about a plane crash or something like that. And I do not want to read that when I'm on the plane. I think it's going to be a good one. It sounds very interesting. And then I have Done and Dusted. I also love the cover of this book. I've been seeing it on Instagram and it's just like another cowboy romance. So I do want to read this one. I have not read a cowboy romance book yet. So I really want to read some more books like that. I think this cover just won me over. So hopefully I do enjoy this one. And then you guys, I actually purchased a thriller book. And I didn't think I would. I don't think I will buy a physical copy of a thriller book. But I bought one on my Kindle and that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder because I have been hearing a lot of things about this one and a lot of people said that it's really good so I am so intrigued. I really like watching true crime documentaries and stuff like that so I like solving things so I think this one will be very interesting and I do like to read books and try to guess was going to happen so hopefully I love this one and it's not as scary but I just know that this book is about either her name is Piper or Pippin or something like that and she's going to do a case that happened in their town where this guy basically killed his girlfriend at the time and Pippin or Piper doesn't believe that he did it she's going to try to really look into the case and see what happened it just sounded like something i would enjoy so hopefully i do and i will give you guys an update but i am not going to get into thriller it's just sometimes i'm going to read it when i need something different the next book i have on kindle unlimited is birthday girl by penelope douglas this one sounds very good i think this might be the first book that i added to my tbr i just think this one is another book about like her boyfriend's dad or something like that i could be completely wrong but it just sounded very interesting so i really want to read a penelope douglas book and then i have flawless by elsie silver and the entire chestnut spring series then i have coach by devin perry and i haven't read a lot of football romance books but i thought that this one sounded interesting so of course i had to add that and then i have king of wrath by anna hong because i really want to get into this series since i finished the Twisted series and I really enjoyed reading that series but this one I just know that the main male character was mentioned in Twisted Lies and I think it's going to be a pretty interesting story because it has Marriage of Convenience which I love and then I have A Breakaway by Grace Riley. I did read the first book in this trilogy i think and i thought that book was pretty good this one i think might be a hockey romance so i am interested to see what this book is about and then i have a long shot by kennedy ryan and i also have a block shot this one is a trilogy but i wanted to give this one a try because i love basketball so i'm very excited to get into the series and then I actually have Set On You by Amy Leah or Lee. I read the second book and that was X's and O's. I was kind of disappointed by that book so I don't really want to pick this one up but I heard this one was better so hopefully I do like this one. Then I have Fair Catch and Blind Sigh in the Red Zone Rivals series and I 
heard some great things about fair catch so i did want to read this one i have no idea what the series is about and then i have a buy a thread by lucy score this is a book that i've been wanting to read for the longest time this would be my first lucy score book and really the only one that i'm very intrigued by and then the last book i have is mad about you this one just seemed like a cute you know romance book those are all of the books that i have on my kindle i do have a lot so i need to read all of these books i really want to add books that i really want to get to not just have on my kindle so i'm pretty proud of all the books that are on here and there are a lot more books that i want to add but i'm going to try to read all of these books first i hope you guys think that was interesting let's move on to the books that i want to bring with me on vacation i know you guys have probably seen a lot of these books already because i've been showing these books over and over again so i do apologize because it can be a little bit repetitive but i really want to read these books on vacation so why not show you guys the books that i am really bringing with me the first book is evelyn henry's people we meet on vacation i've been hearing mixed things about this book but i just really like the cover and i think i will like it but i don't know so i'm a little bit nervous to read this one i'm thinking about bringing this one on the plane with me because i'm only going to bring one on the plane and then pack the rest it says two best friends 10 summer trips one last chance to fall in love it's a chunky one though so hopefully i do like this one but that's the first book that i'm going to bring with me and then i have the unhoneymooners by christina lauren this one says for two sworn enemies on the hawaiian trip of a lifetime anything can happen maybe even love so this seems like a rom-com it sounds like the perfect book to read on a tropical island or something so i have to take this with me i'm very conflicted whether i should put this one or people we meet on vacation in my carry-on so i'll have to see but i'm excited to read this one you guys will also see a reading vlog for these books in the future so just stay tuned so you can see my reactions the next book i have is beach read by emily henry and this one seems like a nice book that i think i would love because i am going to be on the beach so i'm going to wait until i'm there to read this book but i can't wait i have to pick this book up as soon as possible and then i have Catherine center the bodyguard and i really want to read this one as well i just thought that this is like a fun read so i don't really know too much about it besides the fact that she's going to work for him the last physical book that i have is happy place by emily henry and i just you know i am conflicted because i really want to read this on vacation but also at the same time i heard that this one is a sad book hopefully i enjoy this one i know that this is a second chance romance maybe and i'm not the biggest fan so i'm not too sure about this one i'm trying to not know anything about this book and just go into it but yeah i'm very excited to read this one as well i think this is a good amount of books to bring on vacation and i'm going for like three and a half weeks so these books i think will be fine i didn't want to bring too many i'm very happy with my choices so let's move on to the books on my kindle that i plan on reading on vacation okay so out of all the books that are on my kindle my priorities for this summer or for my trip would have to be magnolia parks because i really want to get into this series and i want to be a part of the universe so i am going to have to read that one on vacation and then i also have the summer of broken rules because it is a summer book so i thought you know it would be perfect to read when i'm on vacation but honestly this might be a lower book on my tbr just because i have so many books that i really want to read as soon as possible so i might pick this up but it's kind of like depending on my mood and then i have done and dusted because so many people have been talking about the book and i really want to know what it's all about it might be a quick read but i'm not too sure i also have a good girl's guide to murder because i need to add this thriller book in there maybe this is perfect for when i need a little break from all the romance books i am tempted to read that one when i'm on the plane but we'll have to see and then i also have the chestnut spring series i do really want to read flawless and then i also have buy a thread by lucy score that i want to pick up it's a rom-com and it just sounds like the perfect book that i think i will enjoy so i really have to pick that one up it's just that it's a little bit thick 
so that's why I'm a little nervous and I don't know how long it will take me to read that book but I think I will enjoy it so those were all of the books that I want to read on my Kindle so together I have a decent amount that will last me for three and a half weeks and I'm very excited to get back to you guys and let you know what I end up reading or share them with you guys in a reading vlog or something but those are all of the books and everything that I wanted to share with you. So I hope you enjoy seeing everything that was on my Kindle and the books that I will bring on vacation. Hopefully this helped you decide what to bring as well. Hopefully I didn't make some bad decisions, but I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. So bye!